Hey guys, Thunder E here. And today we have the Oppo Reno 7 Pro 5G. Now this is the latest Reno device from Oppo. And honestly, it looks absolutely gorgeous. This is the Starlight Blue, comes in two colors. There's also blue, there's a blue and there's also black. Now this device comes with a new camera uh, sensor. It's a 50 megapixel camera. With the main lens, uh, we do have an eight megapixel ultra wide and a two megapixel macro. Now, Oppo has done some really nice stuff just with the design aesthetic and builds of this device. As you can see, color wise, this little thing looks absolutely amazing. It's just a really nice device to look at. It stands on its own quite easily, uh, which is nice. So I like that aspect about it. Uh, plus, you do have your volume rockers on the left side, power button on the right. And this also comes with a 6.5 inch display. Now this display is a 90 Hertz display, which is nice. I like the higher refresh rate. Comes with a 32 megapixel sensor, of course, in front for the front facing camera. So let's talk about the cameras for a second. The 32 megapixel camera, not a big fan of it. You'll see why in a second, but they do have improved low light capabilities for the rear camera uh, with the AI photography and also some really nice portrait photos. So let's take a look. Cool. So there you have it. Those are the images from the Reno 7 Pro 5G. And I think they're pretty good, uh, decent overall. I will let you know that the camera doesn't do video for the front facing camera in, in 4K, it's a 1080p. Uh, and you do have 4K for the rear. I just wanted to focus on images because they've really done a good job improving some of the portrait photos that you see with this device. Now, as we take a look at this, again, that back is truly lovely, right? It has a really nice look to it. And this is because Oppo has done some really nice work in crafting this to be more unique than what you would expect. So they sent over this nice little board to kind of showcase what it does. Now, they've got different steps in basically the way the coating is done. These are not different layers. It's just more different steps of how they've actually got this done to get to this color at the end. So you've got the UV protective uh, layer here at the very beginning to protect it uh, under the Oppo Glue uh, 2.0 glass. Then you've got the photoresistive layer here, again, for UV uh, photoresistive protection. Then you've got the chemical etching here where they soak it in the solvents, uh, so it gets the glass covered with photoresistive exposure to light. And then finally, that last step here uh, with the ever-changing colors, giving you the color that you have here. The unique thing about this is that this is a color that feels, feels really nice. It's got this kind of matte finish to it. Uh, doesn't showcase fingerprints, as you can see there on the camera housing, but on the back, it's just really nice and smooth. I absolutely love it. Now, as I mentioned, this has a 90 Hertz uh, uh, display, which means, of course, we're gonna do some gaming on there. But what kind of processor does it have? It's got the Dimensity 1200 Max processor, uh, which is a nice processor, and you also have a 4500 milliamp battery. Now, how fast do you charge that? Well, it uses the SuperVoke charger. I've got the European version here. 65 watt charging, give me some really fast times, uh, which will aid, of course, into your gaming session. So we took a look at, of course, the games we like to look at standard, which of course is Call of Duty Mobile, PUBG, as well as also Genshin Impact. Now, Call of Duty Mobile ran well, 60 frames per second at max settings, um, and the game played pretty well, which was nice. PUBG Mobile, on the other hand, can only run at uh, smooth ex extreme, and we're able to get it close to the 60 frames per second mark. Although it did dip down to 57 sometimes where normally you would see standard either 60 or 59 frames per second. That's just something to take note. Now, of course, finally, we checked out Genshin Impact and Genshin, we could run it on its normal settings, not the extreme, uh, which is usually around 30 frames. We're getting 25 frames per second. So what does this mean? Is this a bad processor? No. It simply means that this is not built for gaming. A lot of that focus is on the camera, the camera AI features, but you can game on this device and that's something that's nice. Just don't think of it as a gaming device because that's just not what it's here for. Although it does have gaming features, by the way. When you power up your game, 
Um, in, once the game starts up, it loads up a game center, which is on the left-hand side of your screen, so you can swipe from left to right, allowing you to basically put the phone into game mode, which shuts off all notifications and you're focused on the game. Uh, you can also see your stats, so it gives you your FPS readings, your GPU and CPU uh, temperatures, and of course percentage use. And then you can screen record and all that fun jazz in there. So you've got those capabilities built into this device. Now, what do I think of this device overall? I think it's a fun device. Now, it depends on the price point. At this point in this video, I don't know the price because Oppo didn't give me the price. So once, of course, this video goes live, you guys will know how much it will cost. I would say if this is priced mid-tier, then this is a solid device overall. If it's anything higher, I would say maybe hold up for something else from Oppo. Uh, but I do like what they have to offer here, at least from what I've seen, that this is something that could be affordable for a lot of people and gives you some nice functionality. The one thing they definitely need to fix is that front-facing camera. The images are there just make me look extra white and pasty, and I'm definitely not. Oh, it looks like I have super ashy skin. So. There you have it. If you guys have any questions or any comments, let me know. Otherwise, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and always enjoy entertainment.